Welcome oh, back wow. to Roll Call! No. Why are you oh, like no. this? Ah. Hello! Thank you for ah. doing an impression of me. Hello. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. I hope uh, you guys are ready to rock and roll. I missed being back at the table and seeing everyone's lovely faces. But before we get back into our Slivers of Fate campaign, I will... My brain. <laughs> I can't handle the visage before me. Oh, no. <laughs> the madness has taken over. Say, speak your word, madness maker. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! He's summoning. Today we are playing D and D. This video will go up on YouTube on Monday. Monday. On Monday. Monday. Other things okay. happen between now and then, uh, but I'll give that to Simon to talk about. <laughs> yes, other things that aren't happening okay, at cool. all this weekend and probably not until the 23rd of April. <laughs> all right, just confirming. Jesus Christ, just ask me. Just, yeah, I, I, do that uh, so that yes, can... DC by a night is currently on a bit of a hiatus um, <laughs> thanks to uh, me being overworked. Um, but and we will be back day. on April 23rd. Anyway. <laughs> Look, it never hurt to double check with someone who knows more. Should have done that before you did the bit. No, no, I like throwing you on the spot. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Anything? All right. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't. Oh, I, I can't see your eyes, and I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 I don't know if they're staring at me or not, and I'm not a fan. They're looking through your soul. Empty sockets. Anyway, I guess with all that being quick said there's no other things needed to be said <laughs> I just gotta start hitting buttons then real quick uh happy belated birthday to our DM Brandon Yay. Yay. Yeah. also make sure to check out our friends family family and our VTuber buddies uh make sure that you follow our players and all their socials and all that shit uh we are still ongoing our campaign for the Trevor Project uh Trevor if Project. you would like to donate to charity for that uh the Tiltify link should be on our Twitch page um, if you can't donate, that's fine. Share it around, uh, or tell your friends, uh, that we're raising money for the Legit de Um, <laughs> yes. The Legit de Oh my goodness. Sick I freaking love Sick that stuff. video. <laughs> the Legit de What? <laughs> legit de <bitiqua. laughs> You haven't <laughs> seen that? <laughs> it's so great. <laughs> I absolutely it's a fancy way it. to say it. it is. All right. Okay, I love it. <laughs> They're, they're trying to speak to me. I know it. I just don't know what they're saying to me. It's okay. You'll get there one day. We'll get you there one day at a time. Okay. okay. With all of that being said, hey, thanks. Okay. With all that being said, we can now go back into the world of Laplier and our Slivers of Fate campaign. Where we last left off. After the city was left in disarray and chaos, after the attack and attempt on Lady Tybalt's life by a figure and friend, or I guess employer. Um. Oh, I agree on it. Thank you. Hi, did I Duke Leopold My drink is incoming. Uh, caused an assault on the city of Midway. You all valiantly defended and saved the life of Lady Tybalt against all odds. <laughs> um, and fled the city with uh, some refugees that John was leading. Uh, going far enough out of the city and far enough into the woods where you felt safe and had you know, a little bit of breathing room. You set up camp for the night and one of you had many, 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 many revelations. So many minis. So many minis. About their past, who they are, and what they are. 
It's all alive. We're, <laughs> I'm just being controlled by a player. <laughs> this is just a game. The following morning. Yes. Following morning, uh, you went back into town and met with Lady Tybalt, who clearly had been up overnight trying to manage the situation and ensure people were well taken care of. After discussing and creating a plan and her asking for your help, you all agreed. You all said that you would lend a hand and do what you can to ensure that the city gets kind of back on its feet. And you were all deputized by John, who is the city's newest chief inspector. Last one died. Hey, what it takes to move up in the world, am I right? <laughs> uh, Death and taxes. Does uh, this new position come with a raise? No. It's, it's I'm sorry, <laughs> most of the funds are going into uh, rebuilding of the city at this moment. John wouldn't ask. That was a player asking. I know. <laughs> John. <laughs> um, we left off last session with you all uh, meeting and talking with Lady Tibble and enjoying some food and discussing a game plan for what needed to be done. Are we getting paid to do this? <laughs> God, no. I don't know if we asked. I mean, if that's what you'd like to start and ask the question. I wasn't sure if we we talked about it before. That's what I was wondering. No. As of right now, you have not discussed it. So that is where we uh, rejoin. (laughs) It was asked by a favor. (laughs) And you guys are asked (laughs) as a favor to Lady Tibalt to help and... uh, the, the citizens of the the city. So, this is where we rejoin. You have all finished your your lunch. Um, you're well fed. You, uh, you know, camping out overnight. It's not the dirtiest thing in the world, but it's also the cleanest. But you were uh, pressed to digitate it. You are now all clean to your preferred level. Thinking specifically of one <laughs> individual who would not want to be the cleaned off from nature <laughs> smell. Um, Keep it on me. <laughs> in fact, if someone cleans, you just run out. Why do I? F- yeah, I was gonna say if Claw ever like took a bath or something, why do I feel like their first thing is to like go roll around in the grass or something? Exactly. Claw, Claw <laughs> bays like a chinchilla. Dust bath. Dust, Dust bath. bath. <laughs> so that is where we pick up. Um, if there's anything you would like to ask Lady Tibalt during lunch, or ask one of the, um... I ask... would like to ask that, then. Um, basically, I would like to ask on... Understand, like, you know, that the, uh, city or town is, like, you know, going through everything that just happened. But is there any way either, not necessarily to ha- have pay, but eat, just uh, have a place to stay and food, you know, just so we can do what you've asked of us? Oh, uh, yes, of course. Um, you will be staying in, uh, uh no, that's filled with people. Uh, it's been burned down. <laughs> it's on the brink of collapse. I suppose you'll be staying here. Oh. Um, well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. I will, uh, never, that's for me to worry about. I will ensure that you are able to stay here in this quadrant of the city no issues you won't be staying in this building but um soldier barracks yes Mm. the ones close to the the windmill at the south point of this quadrant windmills are good um (laughs) look when you live in a desert area where a lot of the powers can also come from Wind in the desert and <laughs> windmills are good. <laughs> yes. Yeah, two options. Or three options. Geothermal if you're lucky, solar power, wind. <laughs> <laughs> Which I don't know if it's a thing. <laughs> um your, stones. your ladiness. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, um you can is just call there... me Lady Tybalt. Yes, of course. Lady Tybalt. Uh what exactly 
Um, because of course we're here to help out any way we can, but what exactly do you need help with? Clear well, do you, do you want us to help clear like the wreckage or um there are a few things that I would be inclined to accept assistance on. I bring out my handy dandy list I made. <laughs> a list. I have a list. <laughs> Look, my brain is filled with many things. Oh. Not easy like to keep a world dancing. intact. Like there's something dancing's in your brain right now. It's a small hamster. I <laughs> um I for anyone who is is wounded or in need of medical care also those being watched over hey thanks for the follow thank you, thank you. um those thank you. being watched over for their potential I guess zombification is that correct John prefer the term reanimation reanimation Fair, fair. Um, there's that. There's also, yes, as you put, Teresa, cleaning the streets and assisting people um, with rebuilding their homes or stores or general buildings. Um, there's also helping run the shelters for people and in, in making food and delivering it to those that cannot uh, come to collect um as well as uh do your i guess solemn duty as deputies and as much as i would love to say that the people of midway are good law-abiding citizens in times of unrest it is keep the peace well to be known that people will try and take advantage you'd like us to keep the peace <laughs> yes a mini we lost Quite a few soldiers and guards, and most of them, you'll see a look of like a little bit of bitterness. Most of them have been deployed here in this quadrant of the city at the behest of the guild leaders. There's a guild here? You're in the guild hall. <laughs> For like. <laughs> There's a guild Merchant here? guild. There's a guild? Oh, merchant guild. That's what I was... That's just a venture guild. I was, like, I was going to say that they could hire some of the venture guild for soldiers as well. Nope, it's a merchant guild. But yeah, that doesn't work. The merchants aren't probably going to fight. You are correct. <laughs> correct. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, those are the five options you have. Ten, treat wounded or take care of those in need. Clean the streets and assist people with, um, you know, things in the city. Uh, rebuild the buildings and homes. Help run the shelters and feed people. And uh, be deputies and take care of the, like, make sure no one's uh, attempting to uh, cause some disturbances in this time of unrest. I mean, I could definitely do that last thing. Yeah, I think I can help with that. And maybe the helping feed people so uh a time frame how long are you willing to, how long are you going to be staying and helping in the town itself yeah i'd say at least two weeks huddle let's huddle I say you we guys have a plan huddle. for afterwards y'all y'all can have this time to discuss do not feel like you need to give me a knee-jerk reaction of time if you would like to go over, you know, how long you would like to stay. I'm thinking out of character. Like, we, besides, like, the, uh, the duplicate people who are portraying as us, what, do we have anything else outside of this town? Uh... Well, there is the situation with Teresa's father. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Going back. Papa. Uh, Papa. there's also... I don't remember but there was a uh, talk about uh going to the uh tristan's characters uh or 
right? I think so. Going... I don't remember. No, I think there was talk of going to not to Dryota. We were talking about going to Taroga. Taroga. That'd Taroga. be yours. That'd be mine. Uh, right, right, right. Oh, right. uh, the duplicates. Sorry, I don't know why. I, I don't know why that was in my head. No, the duplicates um, are not in Taroga. The duplicates are here. In... No, I'm I'm saying in terms of checklist oh. of things of that we wanted to look into. Um, I think those were it. Right for right well, now. Also certainly the, not. Those are the doppelganger situation that we've heard yeah, about. Yeah, sorry, that. I kept saying duplicate. I meant doppelganger. <laughs> sorry. No, no, are you're we? fine. I couldn't think of the word. I appreciate it. So yes, the doppelgangers and then the Truguda, Trug, yeah. Taroga. 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 Um, yes. Taroga. I, I say two weeks is good. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah. Yeah, two weeks. Guys, want two weeks? Two weeks. Okay, we can do that. That should be enough time, Actually, right? To clothes help clothes out with and things stuff. and get things sorted while also creating an upstanding image of ourselves. I mean, in two weeks, would it look like they have a better handle on things? Yeah. Like, uh, give me an insight check. Oh, I have a good insight. Oh, uh, 21. With insight, you know two weeks they should have sent off missives to other cities and other towns, and by that point, there should be some sort of stability. All right. I mean, if anything, that two weeks will also count as far as uh, letting our cancel on the bounty go out and that's keep a, some yeah, traction. That's a good point, yeah. And we should be safe here. So. Just making, just just clearing things. Up. We don't want to uh, broach the issue with uh, the whole thing with. Um, Leopold, right? Because he's pretty heckin' out of our leagues right now. Are you asking, do we want to approach him? <laughs> do we want to go Yeah, if him? that's what you're asking, the answer is absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> not, yeah, not, not, like, not like directly, north, but, like, but like, you know, <laughs> investigating. Uh, I think it is on the list... <laughs> Uh, but you know, it's my... hard for us to approach that situation at the moment. Yes. My gut says something that finding out about the doppelgangers will also lead to more information about that. I don't know why, I just have a feeling that's connected. That's true. Okay. My, my gut also agrees with that sentiment. Hmm. My gut is hungry. Wait. Wait, no, Me we too? Just ate. Oh my god. Yeah. We just ate. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you're staying for two okay, weeks? Then. And it's settled. Two weeks. It sounds like two weeks. Okie okay day. That is. <laughs> I'm down with it. I don't like how you. I honestly that. had no clue how long you guys were gonna be here. I was like, <laughs> it could Are be you a have day. A guess on it or not? <laughs> yeah, I was. I, I was literally like, depending on how long they want. I'll roll with it. Okay. In two years, and we train. Now we have higher XP. Time skip that, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> We're all level twenty now. All right. Moving on. All right. Time to go fight the BB. <laughs> <laughs> oh, End of I campaign. got bad news. If you want to wait that much time, there time will not. Be, there will be. You will not reach level twenty. <laughs> Things will happen way before. The then. world will implode. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All of the slivers will converge eventually into this one giant land mass. Oh my God, Pangea! <laughs> Pangea. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy Brandon's like you laugh but <laughs> so uh, who is doing what I am assisting with menial labor and yeah okay I'll do shelter work I'll help with the sick I'm going on the beat <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Copman. Yeah. Funny, because, you know, your background. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I thought we were A-cab. It's not like I'm doing that for anything at all. 
Um, well, John's gonna go talk to the things in near the embassy that he was asked to go talk to, and then probably take care of the uh, anti-zombification process. Oh, I have a question too. Hold on. Mm-hmm. Um, I did say that I was gonna help deputize, but I can also do uh, uh, shelter building or. Clean, uh, clearing the streets and stuff. Manual labor and things. Rebuild. Yeah. Okay. If we are so, time skipping, yeah. I also look for information on, like, my family's name, like that stuff. Oh, yeah, we can do that. Okay, I just, like, want to throw that out there. But you can time skip it too. I was just, I want to do that while I'm here. No. Yeah. Yeah, we can definitely do that. Okay. So with that being said, we will, uh, before you all head off, uh, as you guys are discussing time frame um, and payment for this long, since it is two weeks worth, depending if, I did have it in my mind that if you did anything under a week, you wouldn't get paid. So you will be each getting um, a daily stipend of uh, six gold. Hmm. So 14 gold, fourteen days times six. Word. Numbers. I'm just going to add six 14 times. I'm calling it. 84. <laughs> yeah. 84. Yeah. 84, okay. 84. 84. Yeah. 8d4. Oh. Oh, times that by six and that's the goal we got? Mm. That'd be less. <laughs> Potentially. I have money again. Oh, I'm not broke. It's yeah. almost as if helping <laughs> the city is good. It's the right thing to do. I support, I mean, what? <laughs> I support theft. <laughs> I, yeah. I do. Also, uh, Claw would probably, at some point during the two weeks, probably, like, go shopping for some clothes that aren't as, like, tattered and worn and kind of gross. <laughs> just to, like, fit in a little bit better and make the people a bit more comfortable, given the space that we're in. How nice you going go shopping with you? Um... It depends. Like, she might, like, go all out not knowing exactly, like, what is appropriate. If that's the case, remove 12 gold. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. Yeah, she'll get, like, a new... She isn't, like, you know, the greatest at, like, social awareness, so she'll probably just look at, like, where she's staying and, like, the nice quadrant she's in and kind of model after that. And then, yeah, accidentally go a little bit all out. So, okay, 12. <laughs> you bought a whole ball gown. Perfect. <laughs> I love it. I freaking love it. <laughs> just whole thing with a huge, pot, like, huge puffy car, like, Elizabethan... Just like I, <laughs> I also want to go shopping. Um, <laughs> mine's not gonna be as like extravagant as that though. But like, um, basic Bang like nice. <laughs> I love Perfect. that. Yes. <laughs> uh, but like, I want. Um, I guess because we're still kind of ad- like adventurer style clothing, but like nicer for this area. Okay. But that doesn't look pirate esque. But I'm gonna keep my pirate clothes packed away. Okay, so for not that right level, now, my we'll nice say, clothes got burnt up. We'll say four gold. Okay. For decent, sturdy, nice-looking adventuring clothes. Appreciate it. My also, nice clothes got burnt. I think after a few days of wearing the giant like ball gown, like everything, she'd probably like kind of tear at it and like use the like collar like on the sleeves or like kind of rip the end of the dress so it's a little easier to wear. Like <laughs> it ends up becoming kind of tattered again and like more able to actually move in it but she's still wearing you it. look like a a countess that has fallen from grace and now lives on the street a little bit perfect yeah that makes sense <laughs> she lives on the cool. streets a little bit <laughs> <laughs> so we will go in order of uh who's doing what so first we'll go well we'll stick with uh claw you'll head to um the one of the shelters in the city. Um, we're in Midway. I 
hate when my computer does this. It like moves where things are. I have just being my helpful. Way. Yeah, it's just, it, I help. I help. There it is. Okay. So, um, the in the you know northern above the the river, there is like this area with the like courtyard of green. It's like a U shape. Above the river, yeah. There. Has been turned into a larger shelter area. Um, where you are given uh, pretty much cooking duty for a while. Um, which, I mean, you're used to cooking. It's just you're used to cooking over an open fire and just getting something. And then... um, so you do have healing, though. So you are able to assist people with some of your, you know, your druidic magic and your, your curative abilities. But I would like you to roll me for cooking. Roll me a general wisdom. Okay, not bad. Whew. Uh, eight. Oof. Yeah, we're almost done. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, Fifteen. With that, you make soup. <laughs> um, <laughs> Rule. <laughs> it has vegetables in it, and it has meat in it, do they go together? Up to interpretation of how much you care. I feel like she would care a lot about, like, taking care of, like, people, survivors, and stuff like that, especially after, like, you know, with, uh, with Haven and everything. So mm -hmm. I feel like she would actually, like, try her best, but, like, maybe trying to, like, please a mass amount of people she's like oh maybe they'd like some carrots and some root and then also some lamb and some squirrel and like just try and like mix all of it like eventually you make this just massive pot of stew and everything has different cooking times <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh so the first few days of of cooking and what everything people are like oh uh, can't really oh. complain. The city was just attacked. <laughs> um, I love the like oh realization. Um, oh. But after a few days, people like there are a few individuals um, who are helping you teach, like teaching you how to cook this type of food. Um, one of which is um, she is a, a clergywoman. Um, and a few of you will meet her as she goes about. Um, she is a older looking drow woman. Um, her name is Pauline Lowry. Pauline, Pauline, Pauline. No matter what I name. No, <laughs> hey, if you, anyone is thinking about DMing, just don't care what you name your characters. There's a joke no matter what you do. You Everybody's named Steve. <laughs> you could, everyone's hey, been, at least I'm saying the name correctly. Remember Winifred? Winifred. You remember Teddy Penis? <laughs> remember Yogurt? <laughs> remember Yogurt? <laughs> yeah, no, nothing. No, no name is sacred. No name is sacred. <laughs> Mephisto? No name. Um, but she will, um, she stops by every so often to, like, tell story, like, read stories, check in on people, lead services and ceremonies, um, and she will frequently come up to you and check in with you. You know, the first few days, she just, you know, she thinks you're just someone helping for a little bit, and then, you know, second day, she's like, there's, like, a little bit of surprise while you're helping, and then third day, she will oh, you're still here. introduce herself. Um, excuse me, can I give a bit of advice? Yes. <laughs> if you're going to be adding everything into the pot, I would recommend um, doing, uh, adding it in, in staggered uh, ways so everything cooks correctly. I, I, I'll, I'll show you. Um, come, work, cook with me. Um, so she'll go over to the table and, like, bought a cooking knife and just start, like, dicing and everything and giving you a breakdown of, like, well, this route generally takes about 40 minutes and sort of a, a, 
a boil to get it to a good state, and the carrots don't take nearly that long, um, and starts probably, like, teaching. Um. I pay attention. Like, I actually, like, listen to what you say. My name uh, is Pauline um, Lowry. I'm one of the the clergy members uh, for the the large church um, on the other side of the town, which for you guys on the map is next to the large Colosseum to the right. Is that blue building? That. <clears throat> We're not nearly. When I say large. <laughs> Compared to uh, gestures outside of a window, and you see this absolutely massive cathedral, which is the thing right next to where you are, Claw. Um, not that. There. But um, we follow um, the god Karametra. I've heard of that. Uh, Roman religion. I'm fucking peep out of you over there. <laughs> Proceeds the, to shut the fuck up. <laughs> they worship the Karma Sutra? No. That's a different deal. <laughs> <laughs> Got 11. You would know that, you wouldn't know much about this deity, but you would know that they are a, a nature-based deity. I can get down with that. Um... We are doing what we can using the bounties of the, the land as destroyed as they are. Um, but uh, if you would like to learn more, you are more than welcome to come to uh, our, our house of worship. It is in a bit of disarray. We were hit with a fireball. Maybe I can help you put it back together what things are cool here that would be wonderful uh, and she will spend uh, every day she'll come back and check in on you every day that you're there and like when you're there around the time she'll check in on you uh, she is a um, and she's unmarried she is not the <sighs> leader of the church, but she's one of the, like, longer running clergy members. Um, and there's kind of like a a mutual respect for nature. Different sides of the spectrum on that, though. You're very much like, nature is nature, it is what it is, and then they're on the there's a deity. <laughs> right. Okay, well, like, um, I don't think that I'm cooking, like, Oh yeah, no. I'm just saying. Whenever you're the, like in there cooking, she will help you cook. Or if you're doing something in like, yeah. how she'll, she'll help you do whatever you're doing. After a few days, when I get like the hang of it a bit more, like get to know her a bit more on my off time, I'd probably stop by the church. Okay, so we will get to that. You'll get probably about five days in. Okay. So then we will go to. Um... We'll go to Teresa and Dragonheart. Mm -hmm. Rebuilding. So, of Thank course, you. the uh, area that got hit the hardest is the center area. Is the, you know, the the build the government building and the bar like the barracks over there and um, Lady Timbalt's house. The other area that got hit strong is um, that northern, like the most northern part next to the gate, the, the, like that area of housing, it is, that got hit pretty hard um, by the reanimated after there was a, you know, one person spilled into multiple in that very tight enclosure of houses. So there was a lot of damage there. So how are you two um, assisting in rebuilding. Are you doing just clean? Are you clearing um, for the first? Like, I want to just know what. I would say. Comes. I would say the first part is clearing. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. 
we're we're kind of the physical people, so yeah, heavy we'll lifting. Clear the, clear the wreckage and like um, just yeah, just, just pulling shit out. <laughs> okay. I mean, I imagine a lot of it is us just taking direction of like, you know. I should have some kind of foreman going like, all right, I want this stuff cleared out. We're like, you yeah. got it, boss. <laughs> um, the first day you're there, there actually isn't anybody doing that. Uh, it's very much people are, as you you know get over there, there are people still calling out for family members, calling out for you know who needs help, what's going on. Uh, every so often, there is a pop up of a reanimated. Like something that's still somehow alive. We'll punch it. <laughs> Smack it. So that's how you, um, that's kind of how you two get your, you know, uh, assert yourself as there. Uh, there is a one moment when there, I, uh, inside of a house, uh, a woman like bursts out and like falls down, like, like scrambling backwards. As you see an older man. His jaw, like, partially come off. Um, and what do you guys do in that scenario? It Wait, it is, is a dude, like, one of the reanimated? Yes. Okay, punch it. <laughs> <laughs> two, two bulls just run over there. We do you... nothing. <laughs> uh, the woman is very startled and and kind of like dad dad come on no dad 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 um before you guys get over there and just hit <laughs> down dad you get down pops um <laughs> sit down old man how many times we're gonna tell you this <laughs> that's what i was trying to <laughs> how many times um, you have to you this now, old man, man. <laughs> so you guys dispatch and the Woman is like clearly after the the reanimated is clearly down. <laughs> She'll still um, there are some guards that that rush over in a moment and begin to pick up the body and she's just like <laughs> like holding like holding the body and crying. Um, you will see that the guards will pick her up by her armpits and then carry her off. Um, He'll be given a proper right. <laughs> They, uh, you will see that, uh, in this area with all the amount of reanimate, there are some quarantine zones and you will see this woman picked up and put into one of these quarantine zones. Like they're not rough with her, but they're not also gentle. They don't like put her down a little walk and they like, yep. And like, she stumbles forward inside. Uh, a few days go by, you guys are clearing rubble, taking care of the, you know, pockets um, of, let's say by day three, it's 100% cleared of any, like, under the, like underneath rubble reanimated. Mm -hmm. um, and you guys are assisting. I need uh, some strength checks, or for, I guess for Dragonheart, for you. I do, I mean, I'm proficient in strengths. As well. Oh, no, I'm thinking it saves. Yeah. Strength or athletics? The athletics check. Okay. Uh, athletics still. Mm-hmm. I say I'm... Do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm still proficient in athletics. 21. Okay. 30, 20. Okay. These two are both moving lumber and moving stone fairly easily. Um, do you guys stick together or do you two spread out? Um... Can... I'm going to stick together because <laughs> I know Therese is going through some shit. <laughs> yeah. And I'm trying to hold up to what I said of, like, if we got each other's back, I don't care who you are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's stick together. As throughout certain points, I'm going to throw dirt at her every so often <laughs> in a playful manner. Uh, I'll throw dirt back at her. There you go. <laughs> While the first few days, I need, Therese, you need to give me a wisdom save. Trying mm -hmm. to maintain that team player aspect. <laughs> Wisdom save. 14. 14 is pretty good there. You collect yourself enough to not yeah. 
you know, fall into... It, it's, it's very much every day you are teetering on outright exhaustion. Yeah. I think I'm day. in this mood where it's just like... I don't have time to worry about shit with myself. Um, there are more pressing matters. Um, the best thing that I can do to help myself is helping others right now. So that's kind of where I'm at. So you spend, you know, you... Uh, Dragon Hunter, give me insight. Insight time. My insight is plus three. It's better than I thought it'd be for 15 plus three, 18. 18. So you can see that, you know, definitely the first day of doing stuff is taking like a mental toll on Teresa and a little like every day for the first week is just every day is exhausting. You are making good progress, both mm -hmm. of you. There are you know, you're not taking care of entire blocks a day, but there <laughs> are buildings that you are, like, homes that you're reestablishing. Um Because yeah. I don't want to assume, but I would assume you two would help homes rather than businesses. Yes. Yes. So. Unless they're family-owned small businesses. Most of those are connected to their homes anyway. I was going to say, though, yeah. I was going to yeah. say, <laughs> if those businesses <laughs> yeah. are in their home, then yes. Yes. <laughs> Family owned small businesses. We live first. above the shop. We're like, all right, we'll, we'll help you. <laughs> so yeah, that you would notice that for with Teresa. Uh, I need you to both give me, um, just give me like slide a hand for actual building. Slide a hand. Good at those two. That's a dirty twenty. This would be adding masons' tools, but not tinkers' tools, right? Yeah. No, you're not tinkering with this. <laughs> All right, and uh, jewelers would not no. be applicable either. <laughs> All right. <laughs> if you were putting finishing touches on a very nice building, sure. <laughs> I'm trying here. Um, do, 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 dirty 20. Hey, so you do, do uh, you know, a pretty good job. Um, you know, I'd imagine, Teresa, you are spending a lot more time rebuilding stuff. Um, and you get to meet the locals meet some families, they feed you, they give you some water, they give you like an area to rest in for you to like every day that you're there, since that is all I'm what you're doing. Grateful. <laughs> yes, um, very grateful. So how much time are you spending, Dragonheart, on being a co-op versus rebuilding? A co-op. I mean, I guess I could split it 50-50 do that first week and make sure that Teresa's kind of in a good place Got it. to keep going. And then, like, cool, you got this. Mm -hmm. All right, I trust you in yeah. this. I'm going to go make sure that the streets are clean. Cool. Go, <laughs> go kick ass. No, let's see. It's like, I, I can't be no cop. I'm just going to make, I'm just going to have people settle their differences. Vigilante justice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, standing on the edge of one of the roofs with, like, my red cloak on waving in the wind. <laughs> Get down, Look, it's not safe. They'll leap off, they turn to dragon wing. <laughs> I'm Batman. <laughs> that Look. was cool, but not safe. <laughs> Play by my rules. <laughs> um, you dragon man. Danger's my middle name. Dragon danger dart. <laughs> you two would also, you know, because of where this area is in relation to the church, you would also meet um, you know, Pauline Lowry. She would just come mm -hmm. in. You wouldn't have nearly as much time talking with her, but you would see the same um, drow woman with her. She has clergy robes on with her hood up. It is a deep, like, emerald green with a soft, like, silver filigree thread. It's not, doesn't look, like, super fancy, but it does look purposeful. Um, she comes around, and she will be frequently, you know, carrying buckets of water or bringing in food and she will, you know, come over. Sometimes um, for the sake of, you know, mixing things, sometimes uh, she will ask Claw to assist in delivery of food closer to the end of the week. So right around the time that uh, Dragonheart, you're getting ready to 
break off from Teresa, mm -hmm. there will be a day where uh, she you will see her re-enter into the area with uh, some food and drinks accompanied with Claw carrying some stuff and Fang, like, having a little backpack on. <laughs> so, if there's anything you during that moment. Probably just wave at him. Okay. <laughs> 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 Pet Fang. Compliment his bow tie. Say what's up. <laughs> With his little bow tie. <laughs> I really like my bow tie. Good. Mm -hmm. It looks good. Thank you. <laughs> you will see over the week, because uh, you guys are all, you know, you all come back together every night. You see over the week that Claw's dress definitely is. <laughs> <laughs> I would have complimented I dra uh, Claw on her, uh, her dress. <laughs> Thank you. And as it gets more and more tattered and like used, like, Dress keeps keeps looking better. Thank you. <laughs> Townsfolk would disagree. <laughs> That's fine. Dragonheart likes claw in her claw form. Natural state. <laughs> yes. <laughs> she pulls it off well. So he's like, there it is. That's good. So you all rebuild. Uh, people will, you know, start noticing you and calling you. I mean, you're in the knoll right now. I am in the knoll. The so knoll. they call you knoll. <laughs> No, man. Well, they... no, I guess if the bounty is lifted, I'd switch back okay. to Dragonheart. So then they would notice you. They'd call you Dry Light, call you Dragonheart, they'd call you Teresa. So people are noticing you. Yeah. And they're giving you a similar amount, but a little bit less of respect they give to John. Yeah. Uh, the guards, still not so nice. They're yeah, but, respectful, yeah. but they're not, they're not like, hey, thanks for helping. They're like, good job. And they go about their day. We about to go all a cab on their asses. <laughs> yes, please just destroy more of the city's infrastructure. Um, <laughs> yeah. Look, they can be all judgy it like they want, but I'm doing their but job. But I don't for see them, them <laughs> going into the rubble and pulling they are down just and... not nearly as many of them because most of them are being kept in the south uh, western quadrant. Ew, not the rich people. Yeah, the rich people. Um, Ew. So that's how, Teresa, you spent the second week of things. Yeah. We'll get to that. We're going to go week by week. Yeah. Um, so first week, <clears throat> John, every day you have your multiple casts. Um, I assume you're not amassing a ma an undead army to scare no. everyone. No, 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 no. <laughs> you could. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> but it would be morally ambiguous nope. at best. Mm -mm. Um, okay, so is there anything you got to ask these questions? Because I can't. I, I want to lure them, but I don't want to just. Well, I, okay. Player doesn't remember what exactly I'm supposed to be asking. It's just supposed to be asking like what people remember, what happened. Got it. Saw. Okay. Um, so I think. I think first question that I would ask. Any of them would be, what is the last thing you remember, before you died. So, a few of them will just will give a similar answer. Uh, there was a bright red and white flash, and then it was darkness. Okay. Um, roll me. Just roll me a d20. 17. All right. With that, uh, you eventually will find. Because for the spell, does it need to be a full body? I don't think so, but let me check. It just says must still have a mouth and can't be undead. Cool. So you will find a, um, like a fraction of a body, um, that you, when you ask what the last thing you remember, um, I remember a small goblin hunched over in the corner, laughing. Their body was twisting and shape changing. And they pulled a, a bangle of red beads out of their bag. I'm sure that's fine. Totally fine. I would ask them to describe what they were shifting into. They were. Their skin was changing from their. Uh, um, 
murky green to a pink and they were changing in size and getting taller. Okay. Um would red bangles mean anything to me in here? You can give me uh me either a history or an arcana. Uh, I will give you arcana with a twenty three. Uh, a bunch of red beads like that in conjunction with an explosion. It was the it necklace was a, of fireballs? Yes. Okay. That uh, okay. appeared to be detonated pretty simultaneously. <laughs> Got it. Um, um, they will also say the last thing I remember was while they were changing, they noticed me. All they did was point their finger, and I. That was it. I was gone. With that same Arcana roll, could I? Yeah. Okay. I could put the pieces there. Together. Yeah, there's some spell, one of many. Right. Um. You said pink. Yes. But they did. But they didn't recount the form that they took. They said they were getting taller. They taller. called it mid transformation. Okay. Um. Which does um, corroborate with Constantine. Right. Um, I think one question that he would ask all of them um, just not really due to the investigation, but just because this is the kind of person he, that he is, um, would be, how would you like your body treated? You get a variety of answers. Yeah. Um, some of them are saying laid to rest with their family. Some of them say, uh, cremate me. Some of them just say, throw me in the river. Yeah. Uh, you eventually do find the body of the captain of the guard. Okay. Um, it says the spell they can't be undead. Yeah. So he, you know, you would know you cannot cast it on him. He is reasonably undead. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Um, I think unless there's any other, like, clues or tail lines that he gets picked up from other corpses he would probably stick with last thing you saw after hearing from the one about the shifting goblin he might ask if anybody else had seen that um or any any potential pink figure um And I think that would probably be the extent, unless he gets another, like, drop of information somewhere. Uh, roll me investigation. <sighs> Fifteen. That's still pretty good. It's real low for me. Oh, I know. <laughs> real that was a sign more mad at that, herself yeah, than anything that was else, real I think. Low for me. <laughs> so you uh, find, you know, going about as days go on, because it does take multiple days right. to find bodies and good things. You do find that they will clear a path to one of the cellars. Um, and you, you know, doing due diligence, go down there. Um, you find a body that is, like, clutching something uh, like uh, like, inside, like, like this and their rigor mortis and everything that's, like, stuck like that. Um... It appears to be a, a bookkeeper. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, John would... John respects the dead, but also knowledge is important. So John would attempt to carefully remove what they were holding. Um, you will find uh, they have a newspaper in their hand. 
They're holding a newspaper. Um, and it, in it is a photo of Alan Checkers in up north. Okay. Uh, not. It, the date uh, would be, it was the day before. Got it. Damn. That would confirm that for me. Okay. Um, I think outside of that, then, um, outside of asking the questions, um, John would briefly check in on the others when he could, mm-hmm. just to make sure everybody was okay and not causing problems. Um, since he, <laughs> since he did deputize them, he would feel responsible for that. Um, but then also would check in with the quarantine areas and see if he can help potentially discern people who are more at risk or less at risk. Give me Arcana. Uh, Dirty 20. Dirty 20, it, it, you know, not too hard for you. Uh, You can, you know, sense necrotic energies and whatnot. Um, There are some people that when you get there are about 10 minutes away from passing on and then reanimating um but you do clear a lot of people to go back into the city and you know the first few days are a, probably a good third of the population that's still left alive is in quarantine um you're only one person right right so, but you are considerably able to start releasing people without problem and that would you know run you past Teresa and Dragonheart definitely Narayana who we're gonna get to next uh Typhoon's just out and about <laughs> so you'd run into various, <laughs> various places um Claw you would there's not a quarantine area near the shelter um because that doesn't make they, no sense that wouldn't make any sense yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, um, I mean, you said you check in, so you check in. Yes, out. yeah. Um, you would see frequently around these places is Pauline. Um, you know her. She's a, not a most, one of the most prominent figures in the, uh, city, but is prominent enough where you two would have, like, a, one of those relationships where you'd nod at each other, um, in passing. So we will now move to Nariana Healing. So is there a specific part of the map you'd like to go to outside of, of course, the merchant of the area you're in now? Any everywhere needs healing in some regards. So you're the one that, since you picked just healing, uh, you get to pick where you want to go. I guess where the most people are. They're everywhere. <laughs> That's what I'm asking. There's not like a they're pretty they're pretty segmented. In you know a pretty deep even ish split. Um, if you, I mean, if you want a little bit, there's the the two churches, the you know the large mega church, the smaller church in the north. Um, some people are going to the Colosseum area um, as like a large triage center, but it depends on where you'd like to go. All right, let's start with the Colosseum. Okay. So you go into this large coliseum has been dug into like a pit into the ground so and there is still raising up but they did you know carve out um and using the the dirt and stone of the area made this large seemingly intact um after the recent events from the week uh people do not question what you are doing wearing your regalia that you are in your you know with all of your holy symbols on people know good to go um especially with your deputy badge (laughs) uh as you go in uh, you will see quite a few it's mostly people in the coliseum for the triage are mostly soldiers um being taken care of there's probably a hundred of them in here in various states of well-being um roll me uh some medicine checks you can spend all the spell slots you want but that ain't gonna fix everybody (laughs) yeah 
healer kits and whatnot. Seventeen plus seven. Yeah, that, that's pretty good there, cleric. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> How does she do it? Uh, you know, the Magic. first, the first day or so <laughs> of going in. Because how many days do you want to go to the Coliseum? Uh, the first couple days, so first four days. Okay, so the first first two days, you know, you're you're, of course, focusing on those that need the most dire, because you know, getting them if you with here healing magic, you could do a little bit for them. Um, there are individuals that are lost that you cannot get to. I mean, you only have so many days and so much and so many hours of activity you can do. Um, you see some of these soldiers never have visitors no one comes to check on them no one comes to see how they're doing there are many of them while you are there um, in their various states of well-being are some of them are feeling a little dejected a little torn down I'll spend a little extra time with them, just hawking and holding their hand. Uh, they are. Uh, roll me a. Roll me a charisma at advantage. Charisma with advantage, okay. Oh wow, I rolled low, for both of them. Twelve, sorry, thirteen. Hey, man, you guys said it's so low, but we're. <laughs> You're not even halfway up the leveling tree. It's pretty good. <laughs> Most D's, like, that's, uh, you know, it's a easy middle DC. Um, some of these individuals are hesitant to you at first because they know who you're with and what you were or what they think you are. Um, but as you spend time meeting and engaging with these individuals, there's a little bit of more trust a little bit more uh, engagement and as the you know the days go on beginning of the fourth day people are f feeling more invigorated uh, and some of them even though they're wounded in some capacity some still have a hobble some have an armless sling you inspire them enough to get back out and do what they can out in the the city and not just lay back uh some individuals i will say not all of not everyone's doing that some individuals are taking this time to no matter what state they're in they we are just sitting in here and patting themselves on the back and going job well done i did what i could i'm gonna rest now um where do you want to go for your last three days Uh, the big church. Big church? Okay. So, you head into this mega church. It is... It has individuals in it. There are people who are staying here. Some people who are, you know, collecting themselves. You know, people are handing out some rations, some water. Uh, give me an insight. Fourteen. With a fourteen, this is a multi-denominational church. Uh, but you will see that the individuals getting the most treatments are the individuals that follow deities of the sun. Well, that's not right. In fact, when you first walk up to enter... Um, they're going to look at you and go, um, pardon me. You, you seem to be a member of a uh, faith. That is correct. Uh, might I inquire who you follow? Selene. Hmm. Interesting. Are you here to help? I am. We have 
some individuals that need care, if you could see them around back. Around back? Well, yes, we believe that they are tainted. Um, <laughs> we are okay. afraid to let them inside of the hall. Tainted? These people are wounded. They need care. Well, yes, of course. But until they are completely cleared by city officials, that they are no longer a threat, uh, we would we would be torn within ourselves if we let them inside of the building. You're talking okay, to for player a... knowledge, are you talking about tainted as in like the undead thing or tainted because they're not the right religion? <laughs> well, well, that answers see. that question. <laughs> How's you say? <laughs> um, you, this, this is in... Um, the individual you're talking to is like a, a middle-aged uh, dwarven man. Ah, boomer. <laughs> He's dwarvish. He lives a long time. <laughs> Still a boomer. A <laughs> boomer. They call them boomers because they just learned about explosives. <laughs> um, so if you could do that, I would be grateful on behalf of the church. Okay, can I insight the the tainted part? One hundred percent. Fourteen plus seven. It's a bale of both. Now I'm just pissed. So I was like, okay, thanks. And then I'll go over to the back. So around back there is um, a small... Do you have for the side of the church? It's a decent size, like, outdoor prayer slash gathering area. Uh, there are some, like, a little bit of, like, awnings to block the sun... A few of the, like, braziers for outdoor fire pits for people. Um, it is... It's well maintained. But from what you saw... That, by the way, you did not go into the church. You were stopped at the stairs. Um, so as you go around, it is, it's well maintained. It's not elegant or the, you know, nicest place. But it's where people are. There's about 30 people back there. Um, with the oil there and let your medicine check carry, you will, um, you know, tend to them, see what they need. Uh, eventually, a a drow woman, Pauline Lowry, will uh, she, you see her? She doesn't even like come around. She'll come straight to the back, uh, and as she does, you will see people like perk up. Um. Thank goodness you're here, madam. Probably not. Oh, no, no, no. I deeply apologize that our building can't house you all. Where our repairs are a little slower, but we, I brought you some things. Um, claw from the safe area over down the road uh, made buns. <laughs> they are... Edible. Edible. <laughs> Did you say edible? Yes. Edible. They're very much made with someone who has very sharp fingernails and just like... <laughs> Fair enough. Um, <laughs> everyone's like, oh, bless you. Bless you. Um, she will know you. Ah... Hello. Hi. I don't think we've met before. Um, I am Pauline Lowry. I'm from the smaller church in town. Well, you seem to treat these people better than the people in this church here. Now, it is unbecoming of an individual of faith to speak ill of those that follow a light. <laughs> now, they are 
well within their rights, being a private institution to <sighs> deliver salvation their own way. I'm merely just a voice of the people in my deity and doing what I can, and I know sometimes it's nice to see a friendly face. Agreed. I'm Nariana, by the way. Oh, I'm aware who you are. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. You're doing wonderful work with Thank the you. soldiers in the Coliseum. They seem very much brighter and more upbeat. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping to do here as well. Well, you uh, you all heard that, right? You're under the care of the child of Mother Nocturna. She'll, like, pat you on the back. You did not say that, <laughs> by the way. She just... She just happened to know. Imposter! Uh, so well, I will... Cleric ranks probably symbols of your <laughs> deities. I will probably. leave you in her gentle care and I will see you all later. <clears throat> and she will leave. So you spend, you know, the last three days spending time there, you know, in the surrounding area, wherever people are. Um, okay. So now we get to the one, the only, the cop. The all-time <laughs> cop. <clears throat> Thank you for what that. What was that? <laughs> it was a uh, typhoon echo. popping off. Yeah, yeah, it was my bubbles. So, um, is there a certain, for the first week, is there a certain area you're focusing on? Um, so, actually, yeah, I was thinking about this. So, I would like to check out, um, like, starting merchant and homes areas that were hit in the sense of a way where it's easy to break into and take things for, like, people to feed from. Um, if at some, I don't, cause I don't know. They probably want to let the bridge down still for, or is the bridge just staying down? I was curious about that. Uh, for like getting into the center? The, yeah. Well, one of them is the, the Northern bridge is completely destroyed. Um, but the Southern one is still being like, the Southern one monitored. is being heavily protected. <laughs> okay. So I'm not going to worry about that. So I will start with like merchant and home areas that are like, Pretty destroyed, not like crazy destroyed, but like enough where people could easily break into to check, you know, if people are breaking into and like it's stealing. And because of like my background, I would check like, you know, alleys of which I would think things would be going down in. Uh, so if you want to look at like places of monetary value, it would be um, close to where Dragonheart and Teresa are rebuilding, but also the um, southeastern corner. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay, which one first? It's going to be a week at a time. I'm going to stop by to say hi for the first like section of this to uh, Dragonheart, since he might be joining me on the second half. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. So, uh, <laughs> Teresa and Dragonheart, you will see uh, Typhoon is... You know, they give you a horse, by the way. Um <laughs> And just very, chop along. Their first mistake. It's a very large, you know, <laughs> it's a decently large city. It's not anywhere the size of Dusk Bell or anything it's like that. It's not a boat, but it'll <laughs> do. Um, but yeah, there are, the first day that you were a police officer, they were give, they send you through like a, a little bit of a boot camp. <laughs> I was uh, hoping so, to be honest with you. <laughs> they will give you like, these are the laws, these are the rules, these are what you're expected to do, these are what you're allowed to do, these are what you're not allowed to do. Um, you all nice. kind of get that. But not nearly as in depth as <laughs> Typhoon and Dragonheart get. Um, <laughs> well, how do That's Mister Typhoon to you. <laughs> so yes, you two will see while you are rebuilding that first week. You will see Typhoon, um, you know, making rounds and checking in. Um, there is a day wherever uh, one of the uh, reanimated, you all like, are in the area where a group of reanimated. Um, from one of the quarantine areas breaks out and you all three convene power rangers go 
dragon sword, go. <laughs> <laughs> I will say it is is hilarious that you guys are like beat him down. Or inversely, people around there are like, "Oh my God, my wife, my cousin, my child." <laughs> <laughs> Look, we have <laughs> we have to stop them from attacking someone. I yes, will <laughs> give emotional support later. <laughs> <laughs> I just think it's funny you guys are like zombie go. I, I would <laughs> look. Can we probably. save the zombies? I mean, <laughs> anyone got holy water? No, I'm kidding. John, did you give me? Did you give us magic shit? So like, um, I, I would <laughs> try would to re uh, talk. To, like the ones who are like this is their family member. I will try to like calm them down after if I'm if I'm able to. Yeah. While guiding them, maybe to like um to uh location to i forgot the word uh, you know what i'm talking about i can't yes. basically yes. to stay at yeah so while you guys are clearing and rebuilding then this first week ty you're kind of doing crowd control yeah these are my streets roll now. me um charisma check at advantage oh yeah let's go let's do this it's my other d20 please this one Come here, show me the money. Oh, dirty twenty. Okay. Uh, with that, a lot of people are, um, you know, they're at the first few days they're very wary of you because of your mm -hmm. reputation and everything. Uh, but as you go on, the people are, you know, taking kindness and consideration towards you. Um, as you, you know, you work the long hours. Patrolling mm -hmm. and going around, people will give you water and like snacks and uh, places to rest, just like uh, mm. Teresa and Dragonheart. I do want to give off because I feel like this also helps, especially in like times like these, like that vibe of and that like almost like southern hospitality, like that you smile when you see like your neighbor type of thing, and like good evening, good morning, so on and so forth. How the kids? How are you holding up? <laughs> type of thing. <laughs> they like, got it. Like a kind There's of hopeful, zombies. like there is it, things will be okay type of. Solid. I'm down with I want to use oh, my charisma. Have hydrate. Oh yeah. Dang! I just finished my drink. <laughs> hydrate to hydrate. I'll get another one on. And I stretch. Hydrate to stretch. Oh. Pop a neck. Uh, oh! I hit my hand. Oh. <laughs> it was my knuckle that hurt. <laughs> the BB. <laughs> Not your handy. Okay. Oh God. Yeah. So, uh, people are receptive. I mean, like I said, they're getting more and more receptive. Um, mm. You get a sense that due to uh, Teresa and Dragonheart's overall helping of this area you mm -hmm. get a sense by the end of the week that they're pretty well taken care of mm. um is there anything specific that or i want to general do? yeah um, like i know you're looking for your family stuff oh um not necessarily like besides the family thing i think once or twice i might go back to that tea shop just to be like petty like i'm not even gonna do anything like i'm just gonna show my regalness and just like <laughs> attitude <laughs> like, <laughs> meets the love of his life <laughs> he slowly falls in love with the grumpy tea lady <laughs> she'll go back in the, the first day and she'll go hi welcome to He's, um, <laughs> just smile away, boys. Just smile away. <laughs> Can I get you anything, deputy? <laughs> you <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> you fucked up. <laughs> no, I'm gonna just play the mind game and like I let him just just let it soak in there. It's like no, no. I'll just take blah 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 blah. I'll take something. <laughs> I'll, I'll have a lemon <laughs> Coffee oh, and a breakfast lovely. sandwich. I don't know. Like this is morning time or breakfast something. I don't sandwich. Know. Uh, it is on the house. Oh, thank you very much. I I appreciate such kind. Uh, of and just course. a smirk. Um, just doing <laughs> what I 
can to assist. Mm. <laughs> Next. <laughs> <laughs> I like this, yes. You like it like now, buddy. In it. You like it now, but wait until the rug gets pulled out from under you. I'm telling you. <laughs> I haven't. I, I. That's why I'm not doing anything petty. I just ordered food. We heard you were abusing your power. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> I never told her to do it. She did it of her own free volition. Um. Okay. There are customers. They can stand witness. So no, that is they don't. No, I'm kidding. The first week. Uh. We are going to take a break here. We'll be right back. We will continue with week two. Week I think two. something's going to happen. What? <laughs> hey, guys, be right back. Die. Don't go nowhere. Yeah. Bye. Hello. Roll roll back. Back. You know. <laughs> You just can't yell, roll call! Roll, roll call! There it is. There it is. All right. <laughs> so we're back with our uh, second week. Um, around the first, you know, you do get the, the, the Sunday off. <laughs> the day of the we sun off? <laughs> So this I is a Christian that, campaign. Really. No, <laughs> We're yeah. working at Hobby Lobby. How dare you? How dare you insinuate that? <laughs> oh, it's Chick Fil A. You're right. Oh my. Um, so Satan's chicken. You all, you know, after the the week, um, Lady Tibbalt will call you all back into the um, guild hall, back in you know the proper area, not the the barracks where you're staying. Um, for a dinner. Mm -hmm. she There is no dress code. There is no specific thing you need to wear. I'm going to um, need to invest in a shirt at some point, probably. <laughs> you need to invest in one of those things on that, standby. like, you put underneath, like, a cop coat that's not actually a full shirt. It's just, like, that thing that looks like a shirt. Like, it's, like, oh, it has uh, all the sleeveless about, one. Yeah. yeah. So I'll, I'll I'll show you eventually. Right. It's not, it's it's made to fake out. You seen the old school Peter nice. Pan movie? Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he has it. In, the father has it in an old school Peter Pan movie. So. Um, oh, that. Yeah. Yes. The not <laughs> fancy, fancy thing. Um, so you all, you know, brought in. There is a very luxurious feast um, waiting for you. Uh, yeah, everyone, come in. Come in, come in, come in, come in, come in, come in. Um, and she'll, like, snap her fingers, and there will be a light uh, string quartet playing off. In the corner. Um, I, I wanted to just throw this um, for you all to have a, a bit of a thank you for your everything you've done this week. We've I've heard many great things about what uh, the Order of Tarts has brought to the city. I wanted to thank you all. So please eat, drink, be merry. Um, I would love to join you. I have a Kunk, 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 kunk. The door will open. Uh, walking in will be a six and a half foot tall, um, eagle headed Aarakocra, wearing a very nice, like, velvet, like, like, top coat, like, robe on. Um, every finger has, like, jewelry on, and he has a very large like string of various necklaces um is it has, jarnathan what? is it jarnathan, jarnathan. Is it no. jarnathan? <laughs> it's not jarnathan <laughs> erica that poor fancier brother. than jarnathan um uh as as he walks in you'll see lady tibbalt will stand up um Guildmaster Rawlinson, I was uh, expecting our meeting to take place in an hour. Well, my schedule cleared up earlier than I anticipated, so I figured, why not meet now? <clears throat> it appears you're a uh, seat at the table short. <laughs> um... <laughs> I just walk out of with food in my mouth. Was uh, um, 
like nod to one of her attendants who will like <laughs> head off, come back in with a chair. They're going to like scoot and separate. Mm-hmm. Let's find out. Uh, John would actually probably offer up his seat to the guild master so he doesn't have to wait. So, okay, so you were sitting by Lady Tibalt, so he is now sitting by Lady Tibalt, and you were placed uh, in between... Come here. <laughs> uh, Claw and Nariana. This is great. I can help Claw use Spork. <laughs> um, I'm just sitting across from Claw like, good job, Spark. Yeah. <laughs> sitting exactly then sitting across from where uh, on the other side of the table because Lady Tibbles at the head was at the head of the table before she you know now has sitting back down um, would be probably Typhoon. I'm okay with that. So he had. Um, Guild, the guild master will sit down. What? Hello. What was that? What was what? Why was who was rolling dice? Oh no! I heard a. Oh my god! I got a bunch of bits. Sorry, it was the. I thought it was only you rolling. <laughs> I was like nobody <laughs> no, heard anything. Yeah, no, that was that was, that was all. You're right, man. Let me fix it real quick. Thank you for the bits. I completely forgot that I had set that up as the the bits thing. I was like, "Who's rolling?" I thought you were. I, I thought it was different too. I was like, "What is going on?" For the record, before stream started, Brandon was very excited, going, "I need a bunch of new sound yeah. alerts." And I completely forgot about them. Because you said that's fine by me, and my first thought was, "I heard the dice, and I thought you were sneak attacking." Mm. <laughs> I, you were like, I sit next to him. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's what I thought was going on. My brain was like, "Oh no." <laughs> <laughs> Typhoon's gone nuts. It's about to go down. <laughs> um, you will see um, this, this uh, arrow cooker will look at you, and I'm going to do a roll real quick. At me? Mm-hmm. Ooh. You were sitting across from him, so. Uh, he will give a look to you. Excuse me, I don't think we've had the pleasure. Uh, and he will, uh, like, reach across the table. What is your name? Um, hello, my name is Boris Varel, but you can call me Ty. <laughs> Doesn't match any of the first name. Well, that's interesting. That's uh, the one I've been using since we've got to this half of the summer. The entire time I've used this one. I know. It's just funny when you're like, Doris Varel, there's no T or Y in this name. <laughs> you can call me Ty. Tor- yeah, no, Taurus. Taurus. There's no uh, Y in that name. <laughs> it could be my middle name. You don't know. <laughs> True. <laughs> It's not, because I don't have a little name right now. <laughs> yes. You know the real house. Your <laughs> parents. Uh, you will see Lady Tibbalt will also, like... She is outside of... She's newer to everything. Um, mm-hmm. But... This this uh, Rawlinson looks, you know, middle aged, little older. Yeah. Ava. And his gross Tolith. You you knew my parents. Oh, you could say that. Uh, your parents and I did business together. What kind of business, if you don't mind? They had connections to individuals throughout this half of the sliver. Terrible accident would happen. Yeah, it was absolutely terrible. That's... It was, it was. I can't believe they oh. embezzled that much money. <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> what? They did what now? Embezzled funds. I never knew anything about this. I was a kid when we left. I thought it was just a regular business trip, but uh, 
never really got to learn anything about the uh, so-called family uh, business. Can, oh. Do you ha are you able to give me any information on my family? Well, what kind of information are you looking for? I should ask. Well, now I'm a little bit more curious on what they actually did versus what they told me they did. Um, but also trying to find my, uh, I guess, where we used to live? Okaden? Is that where it was? It sounds familiar, but I was so young. Yes. Writing this all down. Okaden being as one from the sliver should know, but I will impart wisdom upon the rest of you. Uh, John, you would definitely know everything I'm about to say. Okaden is a trade city. Individuals go in using the waterways, go through the large lake, come through Midway, and use it as a trade route to get through the sliver easily. Your parents worked for the government and part of the economic center, which I am attuned to. They were quiet and reserved folk. Your sister was mostly seen and not heard. You never really were around. No, I was still very young. Well, uh, it came to light that they were embezzling money and sending it to Taroga for something. I'm writing that down. I thought everyone was dead until your sister washed ashore. How is she doing? I'm... what? My sister's alive? I assumed you'd know that. No, I I got dumped in the sea. I lost my memory for some time, and then uh, some people on a ship, they picked me up and looked after me for a while until I got some of my memory back, but that's also why I never could find my way back home. I don't remember everything, so. Hmm. Any insight that? Oh, yeah, that's my backstory. Well, I know. He's still going to answer. Oh, okay. <laughs> what what you, mean? you can say the truth all you want. It doesn't mean everyone's going to be like, what Bro, are you looking at? Only emotional. <laughs> I face the fact I'll take that word for it real quick. Alive. What the heck? Yeah, how was Typhoon reacting physically? Completely shocked. He stopped eating. He's he's just. There was <gasps> the real because <laughs> Now, because he's skeptical of this person, he's just saying, oh, yeah, your parents were apparently bad guys. And, you know, any kid that hears that is going to be skeptical of the person saying that. So but, anyone with a deep nah, in passive in insight above 10 can see that Typhoon is like, what the fuck? Weird. We hear this yeah. conversation. Oh, it is at the table. It, it, uh, <laughs> unless yeah. you guys are having your own conversation, this room is large, but not large enough where someone at the end of the table wouldn't hear me at the other okay. end. So you all can hear this, as, and also he's pretty boisterous. I'm actively boisterous. listening. Like, <laughs> well, um, Where is she now? Do you, do you know? Well, I don't know for sure. They kind of, they, how do I put this? <laughs> she was tried and found guilty and eventually pled insanity after falling into the ocean. Yeah, he's just trying to take that in right now. Hold on. The last known location um, was in the uh, asylum outside of Campania. Campania? Like, uh, it sounds like, like a dish you would order somewhere. I'll have the um the campagna, thank you. <laughs> I'll have the campagna. <laughs> yes, the campagna. What? Oh, I see. It's spelled with a K. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It, I'm just oh, wow. like that. <laughs> I, I had the map up. That's why I found. No, no, no. 
I'm getting a John is staring daggers into me right now. Uh, <laughs> bone daggers. Don't worry about it. <laughs> bone daggers. Um, yeah, she's been there for uh, the past ten years. I mean, she was so she was still young too for her to be tried for something our parents did. That I it's I guess that's in the past now, but still. Is uh, I will say they did wait until know. she was an adult. Okay, that doesn't really make it better. <laughs> Dragon Heart but just like, man. I appreciate <laughs> the information. I'm system. not it's not a you just it's a lot to unpack. Oh, I am terribly sorry to break the news to you about this. I mean I'm happy that at least I'm not the only one that made it out, but Um if I don't know, I I Oh, goodness. <laughs> yeah, he's just trying to think it out right yeah. now. I insight this guy. 100%. I do. I wanted to, but I feel like I'm too mentally, like, busy. Oh, yeah. Right no, now. if you did that, I'd give you disadvantage right now. Your brain yeah, is kind of Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I was going to do it earlier, but nah, this broke me. <laughs> uh, Dirty 20. What are you trying to insight? Is he actually sorry? Is he just, 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 so with your knowledge and everything? You know, um, I don't think he's sorry. You would know that he was one of the ones that pushed to try. Gotcha. So with that knowledge beforehand, yeah, let me let me redirect the insights. Hey, Cap. Um, hey, can you I know Cap. exactly? It was a, you would know exactly who, but you do you would have heard of he waited until an individual turned eighteen and then pushed. For so time. could I insight from that then that perhaps Typhoon might be getting himself in a bit of trouble with this? Mm -hmm. Definitely, you'd definitely be like, oh no. <laughs> um, so. John is going to be a little rude. Um, and just say, well, this is quite fascinating, really. I mean, lots of information. Um, I'm so sorry, um, Guildmaster. Uh, you had business with our Lady Regent. We don't want to get in the way of that, certainly. Roll me persuasion. As he's getting ready to ask you, you, as you interrupt, he's literally going, so you were staying in town for a while. But she interrupted, or Gorgeous. John interrupted. So John is interrupting as soon as he's like, so you're staying in... I'm in my own thoughts right now anyways, honestly. Uh, he'll go, oh, yes, how rude of me. You're having uh, dinner, and uh, I wouldn't want to disturb the new chief inspector. Not rude at all, sir. Just would hate to keep you from your business. Lady Tibbald is just looking like, what is going on? <laughs> Um, yes, um, yes, um, get right this way. Um, let's go into, uh, the study and discuss. Um, and I, he will, yeah, what's up? I feel like this is actually also the only time that my character would show vulnerability. I would, would just saying that. Like hand trembling? I don't trembling. think they're... Huh? Like hand trembling, like... Um, yeah, he would probably be fidgeting with his, um, his, like, family, um, it's not an heirloom thing, but it's like a... Uh, what's it called? Like a brooch kind of thing? He'd be fiddling with that and just like, yeah, Sigil. Sigil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Uh, and then just kind of like that where, where you kind of zone out looking down and just in your own head. Like okay. this is like his only time that he is not just that kind of smirky smile anymore. How are the rest of you reacting? Hey, Cap. Hey. Okay. <laughs> He's not a police officer. He's part of the justice system. It counts. I don't even know what he right. is. All cops are bastards. Uh, I'll bet. Especially John. You, <laughs> throw me an insight. Why do I feel like that's one of those like TikToks where it's like, repeat after me. All cops are bastards. And <laughs> all like cops a are bastards. Cop. All cops are bastards. All cops are bastards. And then it's like the cop from Freakazoid. All, all, all cops, cops are bastards. <laughs> 22. 22. Uh, you can... You... With everything that's going on with Thai food, you can tell that... I mean, he's been pretty cool level-headed in most of this. You can tell with that because you've traveled with him and, you know... You can tell that he is also like rocked right mm. now. Uh, and they can I leave. also? Yeah. 
Can I also roll insight on just that whole situation to see if I pick up on the subtleties of like? <laughs> Give me disadvantage, but sure. Okay, yeah. Because <laughs> I'm like listening and paying attention, but I don't think that I understand exactly. You do not like, understand politics means. and what's going on. Disadvantage. Oh yeah, uh, seven. With a seven, you can tell that there's it. There is a weight to the conversation, but you don't quite know the context. I mean, yeah. even grasp the fact that I said my sister is alive, and I was shocked about that part, too. Um, yeah. Has the gentleman left the room? Yes. John, assuming that this is the correct language, uh, will very quietly, in, in a whisper of primordial, because Tenshin's a Ganassi, so he's assuming that's a thing, um, is going to just very softly say as as a member of the law I would be very careful who you reveal information to you know it's big primordial but that's <laughs> so you, does anyone speak primordial no I do I mean if I pick up <laughs> that you're talking to me I would look at you with so, an even more confused face than I ever have had yeah you would, what? You would pick up that what John just said as Typhoon just goes, What? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, well, yeah. <laughs> like you respond in primordial, like, yeah, it's probably a good idea. <laughs> John's just are there like other people in the room like are there are some attendants some if you attendants. guys need anything? John's just gonna lean over to Typhoon and just say, um the gentleman was one who pushed prosecution on your sister. And that's what Typhoon would Ty 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 probably flip shit a little bit in the sense, like, not physically, but emotionally and visually, and his face of, like, the clenching jaw and probably gripping his chair. And, I, like, probably just asking him, like, through gritting teeth of, like, how do you know this? I am a member of law enforcement. It is my job to know such things. So he sits here and smiles in my face as he is also the one who put my... I think perhaps this isn't such a great place to discuss it, but I do not believe that his intentions with that line of questioning were ideal for you. Typhoon would just be quiet, but, like, you could see he was heavy breathing for a second and just trying to calm back down. Like, like, fast heart rate and trying to slow it down. And you all have a very awkward, <laughs> intense meal. Anything you guys all like to discuss? He's learning well, these all. carrots are very good. Remembering all the torturing techniques he's learned. <laughs> so, um, Dragonheart, um, that's what they call me. Yes, I'm aware that's <laughs> what they call you. Um, <laughs> tell, I, I have heard limited information, but some information, um, with regards to your father. Um, quite, quite a famous one, that one is. He is a more on the famous side of the individuals, yes. Um, what's what's that like for you? Him being famous? Yes. Uh... I mean, do you find that there's a certain pressure to live a certain lifestyle, or do you find yourself looking up to him as maybe his fans do? Do you find yourself... Uh, I would say I look up to him in more than the way his fans do. I'm his kid. Well, <laughs> I now bear his mask. Certainly, I could have guessed that. I just... I, there is a legacy that I have to live up to, and he has set the bar very high. But even in this short time that I have spent away from home, I would like to think that I'm still moving on the right path. I mean, I didn't expect the first couple of months to involve me punching multiple dragons in the face. Um, but... If destiny were to have it, I just follow his teachings and keep going. 
where his fans look up to him as a symbol of, in a lot of cases, either entertainment or, uh, I guess in some cases when he goes out to do jobs, maybe hope, I can hope to inspire to that hope level, but he is more of a compass that I follow and make my own path with. I will never be as big as my father physically, so there is the challenge of still trying to reach that bar without that height. <laughs> well, I actually, that was kind of a nice thing to hear. I, I wasn't sure. Sometimes with infamy comes or with, you know. Nah, I love my dad. Infamy. Dad's dope. No, well, <laughs> wonderful to hear that. My dad's, um, my dad's fire. <laughs> He's just like... Sometimes sometimes these things go to people's heads, though, so I just figured... Uh, I mean, at the end of the day, uh, I think when it comes down to it, when he's not in front of his audience, when he does, he's... He is my father. He is who he is. And whether it's wearing the mask or not, at his core, he is still him. And, he, yeah, you ham it up for the audience... But I think he has never lost who he was at itself. And in my opinion, that is that he is just a good man. Huh. Well, that sounds quite lovely. Um, what about you, Nariana? I, I don't actually know too much about you or your family. Raised in the church. I was adopted when I was young. Oh, um, you, you get along with your adoptive parents? Oh, I love them. We're very close. Oh, good. And and they they raised you in the church, yes? Yes. I I'm not religious myself. Um, which uh, which of the deities do you are you in service to? Celine. Um, can I just do like religion? Just to see if I remember this. Fifteen. Moon! Yeah, you'd know, pretty, you'd know, uh, with 15, you'd know the general tenants. Oh, oh, okay. Um, yes, that's, that sounds, uh, quite nice. The, the moon is rather beautiful and such. <laughs> uh, pretty John response. Yeah. And, um, how did you, how did you come to travel with them? I was requested to keep an eye on Teresa. Oh. By one you... of my patrons. By one of your, pa you mean a member of the church? Yeah. Oh, uh, they are familiar with Teresa then. Apparently. Oh, all right. Uh, I mean, Teresa, were you raised in this church as well? <laughs> uh, no, actually, I was uh, raised in uh, Taroga. Um, I, I would only just re uh, found out that uh, her parents and. My, my, my parent, my parent, uh, is, uh, that they knew each other, so, uh, still trying to connect the dots, but best I can assume is, uh, Nari's here to help. <laughs> well, I think that that's wonderful that you have somebody yeah. looking out for you. That's, Definitely. That really, you know, if your parent set someone out to look over you, that certainly shows that they care about you. Yeah, it it definitely shows uh, some level of care. <laughs> um, what about you, Claw? Are you are you close with your family in contact or? <clears throat> <clears throat> Claw kind of like stops chewing, like <laughs> mid chew, and she just kind of. Uh, I am not. Oh, um, well, I'm I'm sorry to hear that. Whatever the circumstances, I I, I won't I won't push. I just I. It's, it's been nice working with you all. I'm just trying to get to know you all a little better. Let's go. Oh, I keep chewing. <laughs> Good talk. Does Dari know hey, about look, her family? Hey, look, you got a lot out of the claw. That's a great job, John. I feel like I got a lot out of the claw. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. <laughs> so long don't happen to Nariana. 
Roll me a history check, Nariana. I rolled a three. <laughs> nope. <laughs> you would know that there are some shifters and some some individuals that share a common a commonality with Claw, but you don't wouldn't know really of anything in particular with what Claw has given forward to the group. Choo, choo. <laughs> Anything else the group would like to discuss? Like, they went off to a different room to talk. Dude. Yeah. Is it like next door? It's like far away. Oh, it's a few doors down. Okay, no. But he's expected to come back and sit and eat with us, right? No. Oh, he's not. The attendants cleared the space for where Lady Tibble was sitting and where where he was sitting. Oh, uh, hey, uh, John. Yes. Uh, sometime this week, I'd like to, uh, ask your help, pick your brain about some things. You know, like, you know magic and stuff, right? <laughs> um, <laughs> yes, I, I I'm fam familiar with a certain line of magic. I, I can't, um, I, I'm certainly not an expert in all areas, but but I do know a bit. Are you able to, like, <clears throat> feel things out and, like, detect things, certain, like, magic and such? Or, uh, I, I, I don't know, I, I'm not oh, familiar um, with all of this, but... I, actually, actually, I... I am not able to detect certain, like, if you're looking for certain, um spells of detection that is not really my area not spells but more just searching through a, an entity and like picking up on certain things i i mean i could try i could certain i can always give it a shot um okay uh if if you don't mind, I don't want to, like... Certainly. Um, impose. <laughs> no, I, I I'm would be happy to try. Uh, any any particular reason or thing, or...? Um... I... May be better... Kept to... Close doors. Very well. I still had a few questions too. Um, so, no, for you, um, would I know if the Eric Rokin, does he like live in this building or does he like live somewhere? You like, would what I know where he lives? Or, like, by the way he dressed, did it seem like he came well, from the outside or from the inside? For, he's definitely from this neighborhood. No, I'm just saying like he came from outside of the building oh, or no, from no. inside. Or he's been in here all day. Mm, okay, never mind. Okay, that's that answered a good portion of my questions. I'll wait. I was gonna commit some more crimes, but it's never mind. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> there are certain. Is there anything else anyone wants to talk about? I think the only other thing is John would bring up um, what some of the corpses had told him regarding the shifting. The shifting uh, Alan Checkers into a taller pink figure, and then um, along with the potential use of the Necklace of Fireballs. I'll and mention that I saw... Oh, go ahead. Oh, no, you're fine. I'll mention that I saw a pink tiefling outside of the gates when we were escaping. Oh. And I imagine that probably looked like the pink tiefling we met when we went to Rin's birthday party. Fake Lady Tibble? I'm sensing a pattern. <laughs> you know, it seems like we have, like, we need a zone of truth type of thing around us almost at every given moment. A zone of truth? <laughs> yeah, it's a spell, basically. In the general area, you have to tell the truth when asked a question or don't answer it at all or something like that. 
Wouldn't they know that they're being asked to, to speak? Or, like, being well, forced to speak the truth? Zone of truth is not a failsafe. Yeah, but still better there than... There are ways to work around it. <laughs> so, it sounds, so it Tell sounds like whoever... Perhaps if it was the same pink tiefling, whoever mm -hmm. was in, pretending to be Lady Tybalt was also pretending to be Alan Checkers because I also found a newspaper dated from the day prior that um, Alan Checkers was in a picture of up uh, in the north. Uh, wait, so... This may not be Alan at all. Who we so were this, traveling I with. I don't believe it was Alan. Yeah, that's why. Doppelganger. Means, yeah. But he sounded so much like him. Hmm. Doppelgangers. Let me try this again. Doppelganger. He's probably a changeling. Bum, bum, ba, da, bum. John, you know there are many ways to impersonate somebody. Yes, in a lot yeah. Of ways. Uh, could be a variety of different things. Could be magical or, or it could be a shape changing. Oh. We're gonna add in our bucket of shit. Right. Well, that's good information, at least. <sighs> After a while, I'll... the attendants will leave the room. I want to go back to simpler times. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say that out loud? <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> I'm just muttering. I'm just... Simpler times, like punching people in a desert, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you had to drag a hard simple life. <laughs> what do you got today? How punching is... someone in the desert. What are you doing tomorrow? Punching someone in the desert. <laughs> it's How the simple Dryota, life acceptance. Dryota anyways. How is what? Dryota. Is it like a nice place? It's a terrible place. It's hot. <laughs> it depends <laughs> if you're inside the city walls. Yeah, I was going to say, if you're in a city at run well, uh, sure. If you were on your own, it can be difficult. And there is, again, for reference, no magic on that sliver. Oh. You need a strong will to live in certain areas. Were you in, like, the city, or were you... I, my city? dad runs one of the cities. Runs one of the... We live in a society of the strongest... <laughs> uh, it's the... Uh, what's the... Crap. Uh, fuck, what is that phrase? Uh, strong beat the weak. Survival of the fittest? Thank you. Survival of the fittest, and those who are strongest tend to lead. Hmm. You have dispute, you fight it out. Whoever wins the fight wins the argument. <laughs> Need some entertaining? Hmm. You go watch people fight. Need to make some extra money? Bet on those fights. <laughs> or get into Where those fights. <laughs> what? It seems pretty simple. <laughs> What was that? <laughs> What's the name of the city you lived in? Inel. Inel. Which means oh, Inel. We were almost neighbors, basically. I was in trust for a bit of time. Mm. Yeah. Awesome. The more you know. So then, Typhoon, you would know that Inel is a a, a city surrounded by uh, water. Mm, yes. And mm. it is kind of like. A literal oasis uh, from the rest of the uh, the sliver Punch itself. Mm. Punch about Vegas. Uh, it looks like we might. I, I wonder what would happen there. if, like, I stepped foot into the non-magical area. Would I just power down? Mm. I don't know. I feel but like you'd be fine. I was I'm, gonna say, I am... I, John would probably know the answer to that. Yeah. And Dragonheart would too. Yeah. Mm. Because it's warp water, it's it's warp water. It's in, in, if it's internal, it's, it, it's fine. As yeah. soon as it leaves your body, that's when it has problems. <laughs> it hits the ground. <laughs> so there's an absence of the weave in there. No, the weave just goes underground. <laughs> it goes, I mean, hey, that's mine. Weird and then pulls feeling it. <laughs> for like oh. magical beans, like myself. Magical beans. It does. Beans, it does yeah. give. Uh, Dragonheart would would have felt fine. Mm -hmm. Only recently, where things awakened. Yeah, but. Uh, yes, for you, Typhoon, who has innate magical abilities now, you do they, you do feel a little bit weakened while walking outside of a, one of the uh, rings of Arcana. Yeah. Hmm. 
that's good to know. <laughs> Question. This is just, I'm sure we've talked about this at one point. In Dryota, does that mean like touch spells? Touch like, spells work because they're connecting. Because it's connecting and that yes. bridge is good. I was pretty sure that's what it was. Anything that has, it goes Projecta. any, even as minute of a distance as a, a literal micron. Yeah. If it's, but if you're connecting, it works. Which is why healers that healers are pretty well guarded. Yep. <laughs> Cure wounds, touch. <laughs> well, especially after fights, if that's our main source of entertainment. Yeah, inside the city. If you're outside the city, yes, inside the city. Don't right. like, don't lose the cleric. <laughs> the only one that can do shit. Yeah. Don't lose the cleric. Don't is Campania more on the Triota side, or like? Is uh, it Campania half and half? is. Uh, Campania. It is Campania is. Are you asking that? I'm not seeing you out of curiosity, but oh. if any, well, I'm gonna tell you. I guess I would probably like. I don't know. I I would. No, I don't know how to weave it into the conversation right now. <laughs> well, then I will not tell you. Um, I was just genuinely curious. I was looking at the mouse like, oh, it looks fifty-fifty. You'll find out whenever you go there, maybe. Maybe okay. I am going there. What do you mean, maybe? Or maybe before then. Who knows? You know, who knows? Yeah, after Perhaps. I commit a war crime here. I mean, what? <laughs> right. Any other parts of the conversation? I'm just, just trying to distract him. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. I'm just going to say I'm just feeding Fang under the table. I'm going to everybody's conversations. <laughs> mm. Anything more from John? I mean, John would just agree that Dryota is a terrible place. <laughs> <laughs> it. Everyone just dunking on Dryota and the dragon heart, just like, hey. Uh, jo John would be. Uh, He's just me, like, you all are a, weak it's enough. A, it's a terrible place for me. <laughs> How long did you, like, get your, like, magic stuff, uh, John? Like,. Is it like innate or like did you like study or like some of it seemed to come a bit naturally when I was quite young um, but uh, I did study further are you always attracted to dead things <laughs> uh, more like dead things were always attracted to me <laughs> that's like a Ren question I love it <laughs> I um I actually had my first encounter with the spirit when I was about seven years old. Oh wow. That's that sounds pretty oh, yeah. pretty scary. Was it scary? Yeah, probably scary. Well it was my mother's spirit, so a little less scary and a little more confusing, oh. I think. Right through Crimson Peak. I forgot, uh, out of character, do we know that Rin's spirit is hanging out with John? Like, do we know that for sure? I mean, John said tried it. to prove it. I was like, at bare minimum, he's alluded he to it, it, and there's an inkling that there, that there yeah. is... There, the and, only yeah. person who has concrete evidence of feeling would be Dragonheart, because you felt it. Uh, as you <laughs> mentioning that the first spirit you got, you will feel the tiny hand just be like... I bet. <laughs> Cloud probably just... Uh, talking about spirits and stuff, just ask uh, well can you tell Rin that I said hello? I'm quite certain that she's listening. <laughs> <laughs> she says hello as well. <laughs> Was she always this enthusiastic? Mm-hmm. Yeah. About everything. Mostly, well... <laughs> About bugs and tarts. <laughs> no, about everything. <laughs> the first yeah, night that yeah, we met, true. the first night that she came to me, she would not shut up about bugs. Well, that is uh, really? her passion. She told me all about yeah. Douglas and oh. Oh, Stephanie and Camden <laughs> and Miss Marsha and Sir Petersburg and <laughs> all the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna lie, part of me's like, yeah, Rin's dead. I'll have to make up a bunch of voices for all these fucking bugs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna figure out what the fuck they all sound like. 
What happens to a familiar after like its master is like gone? Contract is void. There's no one left to summon them. Yeah. I, do, do they I, just vanish? Do well, they just poof? Some familiars are a little different. For example, my familiar is a spirit, um, so my familiar would then return to the ethereal plane. Huh. Um, but some might cease being, some might return to other planes. But they don't just, like, die. Some, well, considering that it's a bit of a conjuration in and of itself, um, some you have to think of as never having really existed in the first place. <laughs> well, what happened know. with Fang? Fang's a special familiar, right? Would you say Existential after... crisis. How did oh, you God. <laughs> like, come Claw about with Fang? That? Yeah, is Claw asking this? Probably, yeah, I should ask, like, what would happen to Fang if I were to... Uh, I would let, he was up. I'll let John know that John would realize Fang is not, not a Not a familiar, player. yeah. <laughs> well, Fang is a living creature, um, so... If something were to happen to you, Fang might live on. Um, if something were to happen to Fang, without resurrection, um, Fang would decease and pass on. Oh. Mm. Tosses a nice big piece of fat to him. <laughs> <laughs> the only appropriate response. <laughs> you know, like, snuggle up at your feet. How does one come to form a contract with a familiar or get a familiar? Is that a thing anyone can do? Well, <laughs> you can. Sorry. Every campaign, Shira's gonna find a familiar. Right. Yeah, as you say that, that, as you say that, you feel like I never get one though. In your in your pocket, just just a little squeak. No problem. I was wondering if you remembered him or not. Let me be honest. I was thinking oh. about her. I was like, oh, I was wondering remember. if you remembered him because you were asking <laughs> oh, yeah, about the familiar. I yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I feed him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what else to do with him sometimes. We'll stick his head on just. It's just specifically the word familiar. It feels as at one point, Shiro has a character goes like, so about familiar. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a throughout best like, life, I'm just stuffing little snacks in my pocket and they suddenly disappear. It's because he's eating them. Now, is this, this is Pabu? Yeah. yeah. Let's, let's try to remember his name. Um. Abu. Well, in the event of familiars, um, th theoretically, anybody who spends time and puts mental effort into learning how to summon a familiar can. Um, but, it, I mean, it would mean doing a bit of learning. Hey, can you make a pet a familiar? Not... Well, not <laughs> technically... Okay, I, that one's hard to answer because mine was my pet. Um... When I was a child, little Pablo can be filming. I mean, I. I'm not quite certain how to answer that. Um, shorthand, <laughs> no, but also yes in certain circumstances. I feel like these circumstances require death. M mine did, yes. <laughs> okay, no, never mind. <laughs> I feel that it requires death. Well, in my case, yes. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. What a nice dinner conversation. I know, right? <laughs> this chicken's really great! He's I'm just trying to distract himself right now because he's fuming. <laughs> Claw past the hot sauce. <laughs> I am hot sauce. <laughs> um, would would John have caught the thing about Campania? Oh, two thousand and six hundred. I wanted. I, well, percent. I couldn't. My my brain was trying to figure out if that was like an in character thing that had been said or out. So, you know, who, who said he? You... He said he straight up said it. Oh, yeah, she's okay. In, she's in part of the asylum. Is connected. Got to it. Campania. Got it. Okay. John. All. Which John would know that... Oh, yeah, John's intimately familiar with it. People yes. would... Only reason why people are kept in Campania for any reason is that they have some value. Mm -hmm. Yep. I don't like this place, Brandon. <laughs> Shutter Island 2. Sorry? 
<laughs> you better be. I'm not? Well, um, I'll tell you, are. I am. <laughs> Makes you feel better. It does. If, um... A typhoon, if you'd like, um, maybe we can discuss some things about your sister later. I would appreciate that. Okay. Yeah. One last, is composure. there anything else that needs to be discussed? Our dinner and the night will be over. Oh, I'm going to talk to the lady when like we're done eating, but that's it. Oh, Lady Tybalt is busy. I thought she was yeah. going to come back after. She's, oh, she's busy then. getting fired, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say something You else think I'm joking, but I'm not. <laughs> I mean, with this trash fired. bag of bones, I'm not surprised since he's a treacherous little hawk that the horses are going to kill. <laughs> See that gentleman? He's a hawk. Yeah, yeah. A <laughs> hawk! <laughs> I didn't tell horses <laughs> Frankie and Pino are the reason we he's not legal. He's a hot. We just like make some paper machine with like wings on them. <laughs> um, yeah, she does not come back. Um, there will be one <laughs> of her representatives who will come back and go, um, I'm terribly sorry to inform you, but the Lady Tibbold's business will be taking longer than expected. Um, feel, you, you, feel free to relax in this room as long as you'd like, but she will not be rejoining. Right. Okay. I of course. She is okay. Uh, and they will leave. Alright. I guess. Well, where's the dessert? Finish dinner. <laughs> dessert! Yeah. Honestly, after, after dinner, dinner ale. Excuse myself. After <laughs> dinner <laughs> ale. Oh, wow. <well. laughs> Bed dinner <laughs> ale. Okay, so you. Where are you going, Typhoon? Um, I would leave. Probably the whole building, but on the way out, try to listen out if I hear that bastard. Give me perception. Oh, yeah. That rat bastard. Is, is Typhoon sneaking off? No, I just excuse myself. I'm gonna send. Uh... Oh, 21. 21? With the 21, you hear a few voices. I mean, it's later in the evening, so not many people are here in this, in the merchant hall. Um, you will hear just off faintly in the distance. Um, just... Oh, ho, 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 ho. my lady, you do tell up. jokes. <laughs> <laughs> do you? No, I don't actually. I don't think I can throw up on command, to be honest with you. <laughs> no, I'm just saying anger slash feelings can cause one to throw up immediately. No, my the rage does come back after I've calmed down. It's probably back, but... um. I guess I clock where that room is in accordance to where the exit is. There are bathroom nearby, so I just yeah. I'm trying to place right here. I'm gonna go to the bathroom and I guess lurk in a stall for a little bit. <laughs> and are you trying to hear okay. some I'm trying to I really trying to get some information on the fact of if does he stay here or does he live somewhere else? So, and that will, I, I, that determines on what I do afterwards. Probably centipede. So, mutated centipede. Yeah. Oh gosh, it's a Japanese Thankfully, horror manga <laughs> all over again. I see that though. I'm kick. If if I see it, I'm stomping it. Please don't let me see. I I don't like that. That's creepy. <laughs> I don't like it. Unless you're telling me that no I will fight Please, the I don't like that. Centipedes and spiders, like it, I don't bro. Like it. I'm fine with centipedes more than spiders, though. So. Anything has more than four legs. Twenty-one. Roll a oh. nineteen plus two. Yeah. Your your twenty-one perception is not for looking. Your twenty-one perception is for listening. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You would not pay attention to literally a near unhearable millipede walking about so no, no. yeah yeah you technically millipede or centipede it's a centipede, yeah. centipede, yeah. Yeah. It's a peed. So centipede yeah. yeah uh constantine would get in and you would find uh you do hear through the vents every so often uh the guild master talking hmm. what you hear in sporadic bits is um 
the guild is uneasy. Now, you're new. We'll make arrangements. Taking note on all that. Sounds sus, but waiting for him to leave. <laughs> Uh, it appears this conversation is going to go late into the night, so you're going to stay in there all night? Ah, uh, my goodness. Fine, never mind. I'll follow him another time and make start a war crime then. I'm going to go take a <laughs> walk outside and cool I'll off. I'll start a war crime then. <laughs> I don't want to leave him alone. Not after that. Mm -mm. So, unbeknownst to Typhoon, Constantine is following along. Yeah, now he's in his own head. It's, I'm not even trying to. Eventually, Constantine <laughs> will. If you ever stop, Constantine with that stealth will like go up on the outside of the pant leg and get up to like the where you have your coat on. Mm -hmm. And be on the outside <laughs> of the coat. Yeah, I mean, I probably like I said, I'd probably take a walk or find like an like an empty park yeah, type area or something just to. Oh, there are quite just a few. Just cool maybe. off and yeah, just cool off and clear my mind. So. And then eventually just head back to wherever we're staying at some point. Cool. Okay. Uh, the rest of you? Head in for the night. Head back to the barracks by the uh, windmill. Been doing manual labor for a week. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, how late is it? By the time dinner is everything over, it's probably like 10 30, 11 o'clock. Oh, okay. Yeah, then head in for the night. Anyone else doing the same? Sleepy time, sleepy time. Um, John will stay up until Typhoon returns. I'm sure he won't do anything stupid. I'm sure, it's fine. Uh, that's <laughs> you misunderstand my concern. <laughs> He's not gonna, John's not concerned about what John does. John, con I'm not like, actually like going to commit war crimes. John, no, John so, John's, John's not worried what, about that. John's who, worried who about is, what might happen to Typhoon. <laughs> are you looking through? Oh, oh yes. that's so sweet. Roll me perception. It's coming. Oh, it's a natty one. Ooh. I lost track of him. Oh shit, I uh, fucked up. Oh no, up. it's not. It's not uh, lost track. Constantine is connected to Typhoon, so it's not an issue of lost track of Typhoon. It's uh, Constantine doesn't see it coming. Constantine with the fold in the coat just can't. Is like, well, I'm here. I'm just gonna hang out. I can kind of see, but not really. Um, you can't really see who's around Typhoon. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Teresa, you going to bed? Um, I'm going to um, just uh, say out loud, you know, just casually. Hey, uh, Teresa, how... Uh, How'd you like to talk to your, uh, dad, yeah? We, uh, so we need to get some answers. So you're saying this out loud? Uh, just, just mummering. By yourself? Just, or are you I in the room say, with us? Yeah, just mummering to myself. Everybody just turns around in the room and looks at you. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're all fine. staying in the same sleeping quarters. <laughs> yeah. Individual yeah, that's, that, that... That's fine. I I don't <laughs> I don't have I don't have so uh, self consciousness over fifteen. I imagine sixteen. I can't. No, I don't you're care. Watching <laughs> yeah, I can't. So, um, technically, that would be now Rihanna and uh, Dragonheart. <laughs> yeah. Because it's typhoon, you're not back. So yeah, you would no, hear no. Teresa mumbling. To herself, saying, "Teresa, how would you like to talk to Dan?" Yeah, uh, and then I'm going to uh, uh, pull out my oh, ooh, big stretch. Um, I'm gonna pull out my uh, just a piece of paper uh, and start uh, writing a note that I will send off in the morning. <laughs> in the morning. 
we'll get to that. I have a follow-up question, but... Um, mm -hmm. You... Don't get a response. Okay. That's fine. She's probably asleep anyways. Kids need their naps. <clears throat> um, what are you writing in the note? Uh, I am writing, um... I know everything. <laughs> It's <laughs> it's time to talk. I'm coming for you, <laughs> father. In quotation marks. Yeah, father. To Charles Marigold, Teresa's father. No, I'm just kidding. I'm coming for uh, you, old man. <laughs> it's just, it's just, um, yeah. That that that's all I write is, um. It, I know everything we need to talk. Okay. Uh, where can I... Where are you? Where can I see you? As soon as okay. you write the words, where can I see you? Or where can I find you? You feel a click in your chest. No shit. Oh. Boom. Now you're fucked up. <laughs> yeah, I fucked up. And we all explode. Your blue lines that have faded away flare back up. Oh no. <laughs> now you fucked right. up. <laughs> Everyone in the room can see this. If you're you know, not John who's like working right now through Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> working. <laughs> Um, what again? you all see Teresa like light up, the lines begin to you hear mumbling, you see her right, and then light up as a a projection appears out of your chest. A projection of what? Oh, Charles Marigold. Oh, shit. Like, actually, actually? Currently, in a cell, his arms up like this against the wall. Are they chained? Yes. Oh. What? I'm waiting for you for, for what he says. Oh. <laughs> help me help you on Kenobi. He's not going to say like... <laughs> God damn it, Shiro. I was trying not to ruin anything by saying anything like that. <laughs> Down now, that's fine. <laughs> Help um, me, Teresa. You're our only one of us. Ah, uh, he will. You can see it, the hologram's a little fuzzy. Mm -hmm. Um, but you see, he is, he is very much. When you last saw him, he was, you know, he wasn't the most healthy built person he you know a little bit overweight yeah. a little, he was a little older at the time he doesn't he, eat he doesn't he looks very thin he has bruises on him he looks very tired uh at that moment You will, as it comes on, you will uh, see a tiny paper crane through the through the bars above him slide down and land on his lap. He will. <laughs> hey. Uh... <clears throat> Tressa. Hey. <laughs> this is... I don't even... <sighs> what do I even call you? Uh... Dad? Uh... 
I uh, <clears throat> don't have really much time to talk. Lots gone on recently since you left. <clears throat> I. Yeah, I, I, I can surmise that. <laughs> you don't say. He doesn't appear to re like react to anything you're saying. Oh, is this a? Can I surmise this is one way? Programmed. You wouldn't or, say programmed. Or, or sorry, this is pre-recorded. No, it's live streamed. <laughs> it's a live stream, but I don't Twitch? have access to the chat box. I've been banned from chat. <laughs> I realize that <clears throat> you're uh, you're uh, probably confused and and angry. And I wanted to tell you sooner. <laughs> I guess I, I ran out of time. I know I probably won't see you again. What I wanted to say is that I'm sorry, kiddo. Always was hoping uh, I'd be around more. You take care of. You take care of yourself. Just know that every happy memory you have. That love that you felt that was real. I'm sorry you had to found out away from me. It it might not mean as much anymore. <clears throat> but you're Still my little grease spot. Stay, uh, stay safe out there. And off in the distance behind the recording, you hear Quiet down and you hear like boots walking towards him. <laughs> My chance. This is my one chance to uh, to talk to you. And I'm glad. I'm glad I got to be your dad. And you hear the sound of a gate uh, swing open before a figure cuts over the screen, and you just see a club come down and before it cuts off. The rest of us heard this, right? Oh, the rest of you saw and heard that. Okay. I'm gonna go over to Teresa and like wrap her in a hug. This is so unfair. You are so unfair. <laughs> do I even... How do I even... 
One day at a time. It's... I... I... I, I thought... All of the... Surprises were... Over. Thought I'd... Thought maybe be able to figure shit out, but... But... Uh-uh. And I think she just... Keep mumbling to herself, just... And at this, this point, so... we'll cut back so... over to Typhoon, who is walking back to the barracks. Mm-hmm. Uh, while you're walking, your mind is is racing, bouncing around, thinking uh, you're approached. I... Uh, you're approached by a, a woman. She appears to be a, uh, a, trap. a half-elven woman. Um walks up um excuse me are you um typhoon mm, depends on who's asking oh um it just i wanted to thank you for everything you've been you've been doing for the city mm. yeah of course i'm glad i'm able to help insight this person it's yeah. late at night what you doing Let's see, what's my insight? I rolled a 12 plus, oh, plus seven at 19? Yep. Okay. Appears to be just someone thanking you. Okay. Um, I mean, still like the kind of, you know, like I'm obviously not in the right mental state, but like I'm trying to push it aside, but like it's not working, but like I'm, I'm happy I'm able to help. And I, you know, I hope things get better for but in that, that, you know, that, like, I'm struggling myself right now. <laughs> um. Can. I, here. Um. I. As you look closer in the night, she is not wearing fancy clothes. She's wearing very ragged, torn clothes. She has a cloak on her. Um. I, hmm. My family, um, we made. Um you a loaf of bread so thank you um you i feel like typhoon would let out a sigh it's like i don't more not like a um bad or sad one but like a like you know i thank you thank you i really do appreciate this is very kind of you you didn't have to do that Uh, of course just wanted to thank you Um, of course um, I, I, I better be off. I'm not supposed to be in here. Yeah, definitely. Be safe. Do you need Do you need me to walk you home, or will you be okay? Oh, I should be fine. Okay, be safe for sure. Uh, if you believe. Thank you again. Have a good night. Uh, you re-enter into the barracks with Bread. all of that going on. <laughs> <laughs> What part do I walk in you on? You walk at this in point? at the, um, you know, when he says, "Yeah, um, you're always my, you'll always be my little grease spot." So um, I walk in at a freaking hologram, a glowing Teresa Tressa, and that, <laughs> and that, and then you see, you know, the guard come in, Billy club him, and it turns off, and then Nariana, consoling, and that's when you, yeah, come back in the room and you're like. <laughs> Brandon, you're so unfair. And that's where we're gonna pick up next. <laughs> yeah, I would just stop and stare at the door like, oh, what the, the fuck, fuck is that happening <laughs> now? Like what now? I'm gonna punch that trauma so hard in the face. <laughs> yeah. Get out of your trauma. Fuck you. <laughs> so no, uh, let's keep playing for another four hours. Four hours. <laughs> we're gonna want to know. Um, nah, just call out. So you guys food. get the Tarot. <laughs> 
Yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, take it away across the table while I start hitting buttons. Today we play D and D. This will go up on YouTube on Monday. Monday. Nothing happens on Sunday. Sunday. <laughs> Nothing happens on Sunday. Huh? I said nothing happens on Sunday. Oh, I thought oh. you said something happens. I was like, yeah, I guess we exist on Sunday. <laughs> yeah, the world doesn't shut down on Sunday. <laughs> well, it doesn't certain places. <laughs> Wait, yours doesn't? Oh, no. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's what we got going on this week. All right. Anything anyone would like to add? That's not a hurling, about to hurl an insult at me. I don't like the word of hurl. Here. What? I don't like the use of use the word of hurl. My last name is Hurler. <laughs> Before you throw insults at me. Before you gur Thank insults you. at yeah, you. Before you gur insults at me. How do you like that? <laughs> um, okay, then. With all, right. all of that being said, I hope you guys had fun, and we will hopefully see you fun. next week. Until then. Fun, Brandon. That's what you think. Bye, we bye. Yes, it is fun. Bye. <laughs>